All right, welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell here, of course, and you're joined by Josh Gage from Detroit Catholic Central Lacrosse. How's it going, man? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, so getting ready for lacrosse season, and yep. we're actually going to have one unlike last year at this time. Yeah. Does that feel good? It does, yeah. It's been most of my summer stuff was canceled so it's been almost a year since i've played well probably close to a year now since i've played like organized lacrosse so it's good to like get back into um like full speed stuff it's it's actually really nice and it's i know it's like different because a lot of the sophomores they've never played a game in high school and even like some of our juniors have only ever played like jv so it's it's gonna be different this year for sure a lot of uh acclimating to full varsity speed so it's it's gonna be exciting though I'm, I'm excited so i gotta ask you what did you um so what did you do during that time it's like i mean that had to be really hard for you yeah uh when we first found out uh, i was pretty emotional i'm not gonna lie um I, a lot of the seniors I've known for the uh, senior last year's uh, 2020 class, I'd known them since uh, grade school, some of them. So growing up with them and then like having everything build up, getting ready for that season, uh, we all felt like we had a really good shot at, um, at the state championship last year. And then having that cut off and taken away, that really sucked. Um, I was dealing with some hip issues back then. So I spent a lot of the time rehabbing, uh, getting ready, getting healthy. Um, and then, you know, just uh, lifting mostly. I have weights in my basement, so I didn't have to worry about gyms being closed. So I was able to keep lifting and keep some of my strength for uh, all that time off. Yeah. And was it hard to kind of just like stay in one place? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely like ramping up from having like winter lifts and all that and all the off season stuff getting ready and then just being closed down. It, it was definitely something to get used to just like it took a while to just be still for, I mean, it, months on end really. Did you like go? Did So when was the last, so from then to now, when was the first time you picked up a stick? Um, when all this kind of this COVID thing kind of like, you know, kind of toned down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I never really like, I didn't, I didn't take like a huge break off from like wall ball and stuff like that. Cause uh, it's, I just, I enjoy getting better. It's just, I just have like a drive to get better. So uh, I didn't take a whole lot of time off, but um, it was probably a couple of weeks, just time to like, I, I guess go through the stages of grief and then uh, like just get right back into it, prepare because no one else is waiting for the next season to start. So you might as well get a jump on it. Yeah. Um, when, when you look at, when you look at now, now that you're getting ready, going to school, how different is it going to be? You know, it's kind of starting to return to some of the things that, you know, we're used to doing. It may look a little different, but we're still doing it, of course. You know, you just mentioned to me that, you know, you're going back to five days a week, the typical normal school day. You get up early, you go, and then all that. So is that going to be a big adjustment for you? Uh, I don't think so, really. I mean, it's getting back to what's normal. So it's I mean, getting up super early for school kind of sucks, but uh, I think getting back into the flow of somewhat normal. I mean, we still, we're still we still going to have masks and everything, but getting back to, you know, lacrosse, getting back to school every day, seeing, seeing all of your friends every day, getting back to that camaraderie and, you know, just being back with the boys and stuff. Like, it's, I think it'll be a, like a healing thing, kind of. Yeah. Okay, so... So you're heading off to Calvin College. You're you, you're you're a defenseman on the team. Yep. So what's that? You know, for people that don't know lacrosse as well, 
what is the role of a defenseman? Uh, the main role is just to stop the offensive player from uh, scoring, really. But it's it's kind of more complicated than that because you you also have a responsibility to help your other teammates if they get beat on defense. So there's a whole slide package to help. And then if you're not the main guy to go, you have to help back into the inside to help cover the guy that got left open. It's very, you think like, it's not as simple as it seems. It's very, not very complicated, but there's a lot to it. And it's, it's something I take pride in just like being able to, um, you know, just face up against another team's best player and just not let them not let him score is something I take pride in. So it's something, I don't, I don't know. I just like it a lot. And it also, it's fun being the guy that throws the checks as, instead of getting checked. <laughs> it's always gotta be good. Um, you know, we all know, we all know who, uh, you know, when we look at, when we look at boys lacrosse in the state of Michigan, there is one game that, of course, that, tr- that basically tells it all. And you're, I, I see you smiling. <laughs> um, you know, Catholic Central and Brother Rice have met in just about every state finals since, since, the, since the, the sport became a, a MHSA-sanctioned sport in Michigan, I think. You know, Brother Rice won every single title since before that. Of course, you, of course, CC won it a few years ago. Um, what can this team get back at it again? Yeah, I think we can. We have a lot of uh, we have a lot of young guys this year, especially uh, sophomores. So that I think the, having them mature over this off season, coming into the spring, they're coming into like themselves really. Uh, I think we have a pretty good shot at it. Um, you know, we don't have as many commits this year as last year and the years before. I think part of that is because of the abbreviated abbreviated to no summer season for a lot of guys um but I think we still we still really do have a good shot um we're still a very talented team and uh great coaches we have a great backing behind us with our athletic director and uh you know they want they want what's best for us and we're going to give them our best so yeah should be interesting for sure um and of course, you know, this is, um, you, you know, in only a few more months left, you're going to be done with school. You should think about that. Yeah, it's kind of sad to think about just the last four years of same school, same people. And then, you know, in a couple months, it's over. Like you just, you go off to a new school. I don't know many people at Calvin. So uh, it'll be kind of like high school. I didn't know many, very many people coming into CC. So it'll kind of be that similar and just meeting new people, making new friends. So, I mean, it is what it is. We all get older. Yep. All right. Josh Cage, thank you so much for uh, coming on and good luck this season. Maybe we'll have you on again sometime. Thank you.